Today's comment of the day is from Ulf uh, Mombach. I'm, I'm, I definitely do not pronounce that right. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, my man said, very cool build in the inn. Actually made me consider trying that in my current god run, lol. Just discovered his channel. I like your chill, Noida content, bro. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to make a name for myself in the Noida community one step, uh, one step at a time. So I really appreciate your comment. Thank you for enjoying the content. And I hope to see you on the next videos, my friend. Now, let's get started in today's video. First and foremost, welcome back to another top three of Vampire Survivors. Today, we're going to be talking about the top three evolved weapons inside of Vampire Survivors. As it stands now, today on this video, there are currently nine different types of evolved weapons that you can get in vampire survivors we're gonna be talking about those nine no we're not we're gonna be talking about the top three of those nine weapons which one are the top three and which ones should you go for if you're going for your current build um and yeah i appreciate you guys watching i hope you enjoy let's get started first and foremost i want to say that these this list is going to be personal preference so you might not agree with what i see on this list if you don't feel free to leave it down in the comments so we can go back and forth and you know just have a little discussion or whatnot um but yeah so the first weapon on this list is definitely going to be the unholy vest Vesper. Uh, the Unholy Vesper is an evolved version of the uh, of the the book, the book that goes around in a circle. I forgot the name of it, but the book that goes around in a circle. Um, this is very very strong, very very strong of a weapon, and I use it in almost every single one of my builds, uh, mainly because of the crowd control that it has. Um, if you can make these spin really fast around your character, you will definitely not get hit by any enemies because they won't be able to actually hit you. If they get hit by the book, they take knockback and just keeps knocking them back, knocking them back, knocking them out. Every so often, if an enemy does get pushed a little bit by another enemy, it might make it through, but that's super duper rare, and this weapon is really good for crowd control. Um, the damage, it, it's, it's in the middle. It's not weak, but it's not the strongest weapon out there. I mainly personally use it for crowd control, and it makes runs so much easier uh, when you actually get this weapon. If you're going to be rocking this weapon, what I recommend you actually put on it or have alongside it is the gauntlet because it makes the it makes the book spin a lot faster, um, which helps a lot a lot with the crowd control aspect of the weapon so that and also probably duplicator have more books um but yeah next we're going to be talking about the death spiral the death spiral is an evolved version of the axe uh this thing does massive massive amount of damage um it, it goes out from your character in a circle and it hits everything in its path it has piercing um and it, it, it just does a bunch of freaking damage it's one of the strongest weapons in the entire game um, but yeah, it's another weapon that I use in multiple builds of mine. Um, you can never go wrong with an evolved axe. It's literally one of the best, if not the best. I'd say this and the fire wand are probably the two strongest weapons in the game. So keep that in mind. Um, and I would definitely recommend it in every single build that you go with. Finally will be the blood tier. Now, a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on this. Um, but I usually like it a lot in my builds, especially late game because it allows me to heal myself. Um, and that's really the only reason why I use it is purely for healing. It doesn't do that much damage, nor does it do that much crowd control. It's pretty solid early game, the whip in general, but once you level it up, it's purely just for healing. It doesn't do enough damage for me. So I just use it for healing. If I'm low on health, I go around, hit a little bit of enemies, boom, back to full health. I don't even have to look for floor chicken. You know what I mean? I don't have to panic and run around and hopefully I can find something to break and hopefully I can get floor chicken. You know what I mean? This this takes all of that out of the game um, and I can just go around hitting enemies and I'll heal myself. And that's the main reason why I like to use it. Um, I don't use this in every single build, but if I'm trying to just in general survive and beat the game, then I usually use it because it helps with the survivability aspect of the game so much. Just the fact that you can heal yourself whenever you want to, it really does help. Um, and yeah, those are my top three evolved weapons inside of Vampire Survivors. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If you have a different top three, feel free to leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you say. Um, and yeah, I appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Have a great morning, evening, and afternoon. And peace.